This is the central part of the Indo-Chinese Peninsula. In 802, an empire established by the Khmer people emerged. It was called the Angkor Empire and was the origin of present-day Cambodia. Thanks to the exceptional irrigation system developed here, the Khmer people became very prosperous. Their religion was Hinduism or Buddhism. The Khmer culture had tremendous regional influence. This dance shows the graceful and exquisite culture of the Khmer. But in particular, the culture is expressed in the monuments of Angkor. Now, as well as other countries, Japan is helping to preserve this World Heritage Site. The Kingdom of Cambodia has a population of almost 10 million. The people are the descendants of the Khmers who built the Angkor monuments. Phnom Penh, the capital city, with a population of 1 million, is the political and economic center. Having overcome all the unfortunate wars of the past, Cambodia has been undergoing remarkable development. The lake Tonle Sap is located about 300 kilometers northwest of Phnom Penh. This is the heart of Cambodia, and people have enjoyed the benefits of this lake, the source of life, for centuries. The province of Siem Reap is to the northeast of Tonle Sap. The Angkor monuments lie amid the tropical forests of the province. Here there are monuments built by the Angkor kings from the 9th to the early 14th century. There are several hundred monuments in Siem Reap. In Angkor, several capitals followed one another, and that explains the complexity of the map. Let's look at some of the major monuments. This is Angkor Wat, the masterpiece of Khmer architecture, famous for its harmony and beauty. It was built as a Hindu temple in the first half of the 12th century. Despite the passage of time, it retains a special place in the hearts of Khmer people. Angkor Wat is encircled by a moat which stretches 1.5 kilometers to the east and west and 1.3 kilometers to the north and south. The moat symbolizes the primordial ocean. These three galleries surrounding the central tower create the image of mountains. Surrounded by the primordial ocean, Angkor Wat symbolized a perfect universe.
As we pass through the outer, middle, and the inner galleries towards the heart of the temple, a sense of fear and respect for the world of the gods is recalled. This is the central tower which sheltered the Hindu gods. These are goddesses engraved around the central tower. There are thousands of such carvings all over Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat was built by Suryavarman II, shown here. It is said that an incalculable number of people were involved in creating Angkor Wat's wall carvings. Bas reliefs are one of the most artistic features of Angkor Wat. These are carved on the four walls of the outer gallery, which has a perimeter of 740 meters. Its motifs are from the Mahabharata and Ramayana, which are ancient Indian epics. A magnificent world of legends spreads throughout the gallery. It also depicts the society and technology of that time. The legend of the churning of the ocean of milk, famous in Angkor, is one of the remarkable features of the bas reliefs. But the unique Angkor Wat has suffered much damage over the years. The restoration of the Angkor monuments was begun in 1907 by a Frenchman, Jean Comaille. The preservation work on the Angkor monuments has continued to this day. Bante Aisre, the jewel of Angkor, was completely restored by French experts.